the hero of our video will appear before you in all its power and bloodthirstiness. For those who have not seen it before, it is Allosaurus, a creepy representative of the Middle Mesozoic, but attractive enough to tell dinosaur lovers about it. Let's start by noting that Allosaurus wasn't always an Allosaurus. We're going to delve into its evolutionary tree to find out how this species came to be. So here is this Allosaurus, the hero of our video, was a member of the Carnosaurus genus, theropod dinosaurs. With a body length of eight to nine meters, Allosaurus weighed just two tons. Even for its relatively modest size, this is somehow abnormally light. The reason for this low weight is very strange. Allosaurus was empty inside. For a predator, this was probably an advantage rather than a disadvantage. Because of its light weight, the prey lizard could not easily elude its pursuer. The lion's share of the reptile's internal space was occupied by air sacs. Even its bones were pneumatized. They contained empty space. All these voids were connected to each other and to the lungs, forming a complex system through which air was driven. Through this system, the dinosaur was oxygenated both when inhaling and exhaling. Modern birds use the same mechanism of double breathing, and it turns out that Allosaurus was many times more robust than the vast majority of dinosaurs on the planet. Allosaurs attacked in a leap. They accelerated up to 35 kilometers per hour and jumped on the back of the victim, trying to bite the cervical vertebrae to immediately paralyze the prey. The force of the Allosaurus's bite left deep indented holes, as evidenced by the scratches and tooth impressions on the bones of many herbivores. Triassic period, the origin of new species that gave rise to all known dinosaurs. These are the theropods, the main group that originated in the late Triassic and inhabited almost every corner of the planet. After them appeared a group of neoteropods, we can say that they are the founders of all predatory dinosaurs that inhabited the Earth. From neoteropods began to form numerous species of so-called early dinosaurs. Among them were such as Pangu raptor and Luchivenator, which lived in the Triassic period. Subsequently, the theropods were replaced by another group called Carnosaurs, did. You like the video? Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell not to miss new interesting releases from our channel. Carnosaurs are a family of large and dangerous predators. They were the kings of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, inhabiting our planet during the Mesozoic period. They not only knew no equal in ferocity, but also in size, reaching up to 15 meters in length. The weight of the predator was about seven to eight tons. This did not prevent them from making peculiar jumps and bouncing, which helped the lizard and in hunting and in clashes with other predators. From the family of Carnosaurs came several other important species. One of them is Monolophosaurus. Monolophosaurus, a predatory dinosaur with a crest on its head, its homeland is the area of future China in the Jurassic period 165 million years ago. It was thought that Monolophosaurus was a basal theropod and belongs to the ancient Megalosaurus group. However, a 2010 study recognized it as a member of Theropoda group. Monolophosaurus was estimated to be five and a half meters long and weigh 475 kilograms. Its name, Monolophosaurus, translates to lizard with a single crest. This distant ancestor of Allosaurus had already terrified the inhabitants of the Jurassic period with its bloodthirstiness and constant hunger. However, all Mesozoic dinosaurs, both herbivores and carnivores, had a constant feeling of hunger. This crested killer was initially defined as a megalosaur, and only in 2012 paleontologists proved that this species has nothing to do with megalosaurs. By the way, Monolophosaurus hunted in packs, which implies the presence of developed intelligence and pack instinct. Well, evolution continued. Before you is another ancestor of Allosaurus, Synraptor, a representative of the genus Carnosaurus. It was eight meters long, three meters high, and weighed 1,200 kilograms. Many, hearing the name with the prefix raptor, probably thought that this predator could belong to well-known to us velociraptors and other fast-footed hunters, but it doesn't. This species of raptor is interesting because it was the main branch of carnosaurs, which split into several others, and as a result gave rise to such dinosaurs as Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. The Allosaurus family continued to evolve, and another species appeared, Saurophaganax. By the way, the translation of this name is very interesting. 
master eating lizard. This hunter lived in tropical and quite humid places. By the way, Saurophaganax remains the largest allosaur whose bones have been discovered on Earth. It surpasses the largest allosaur by as much as two meters. And here is another species that belonged to large allosaurs, Epantherius. This animal could match the size of the Tyrannosaurus itself and terrified the inhabitants of the Jurassic period. An interesting fact from paleontology. When scientists discovered the remains of this lizard, it was long believed that in front of them a herbivorous sauropod, like an iguanodon. But as they say, mistakes of paleontologists are normal. Here is another representative of ancient allosaurs, Asphaltovenator. Asphaltovenator was a rather large animal, comparable in size to the known allosaurus. Its body length was estimated at 7 to 8 meters. Asphaltovenator is one of the oldest and most complete Middle Jurassic tetanurans. As a result of a complex mixture of many subspecies and families appeared the hero of our issue, Allosaurus. Some of the ancestors of Allosaurus were much smaller than the predator itself, others, on the contrary, more. But the fact that Allosaurus was at the top of the food chain along with Megalosaurus and Carchodontosaurus proves that with this predator had to reckon with many of his competitors. Were Allosaurs gregarious predators? Well, you could say that. The most significant Allosaurus finds were made in the famous Utah Dinosaur Quarry. The first excavations in the quarry began as early as 1927, but the first fossils from it were described by Williams Current only in 1945. Mass excavations at the burial site began to take place in the 60s. As a result, 12,000 bones were recovered that belonged to 74 individuals of different species, including 46 Allosaurus. The fossilized remains of Hundreds of bones belonging to individuals of all age categories were recovered. It is assumed that this place was a giant Jurassic swamp, which in the process of mineralization and fossilization, preserved thousands of dinosaur bones, among which were found the remains of Ceratosaurus, Camarasaurus, Barasaurus, Stegosaurus, Comsosaurus, and other smaller animals, two of which have been separated into their own genera, Sazawa and Marshasaurus. A massive assemblage of dinosaur bones from at least 11 genera of late Jurassic dinosaurs is preserved at this site. The most common of which is Allosaurus, which is represented by the bones of many individuals of varying size and age, ranging from 3 meter long juveniles to adult specimens 10 to 12 meters long. The bones from Cliveden Lloyd are not badly preserved, but consist of completely disjointed skeletons. It is likely that the site was a swamp, Herbivores accidentally got stuck and had no way out, and predators, noticing the easy prey, attacked the victim, but ended up trapped in the vicus mire and died. Allosaurs could come to this place as families and stay here forever. Here we are with a brief history of Allosaurus evolution. If you liked the video, put a thumbs up, leave comments and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the bell not to miss new and interesting releases from the channel.